Our Milky Way galaxy is a cannibal. I mean, it's grown by consuming other galaxies. Yet it too may be destined to collide and merge with an even bigger galaxy, Andromeda. Though galaxy collisions are normal events, and NASA suspects this collision is inevitable in billions of years, new research argues that with our current knowledge about Andromeda, such a future impact is still not certain. It actually has about 50-50 odds. You might wonder what would happen if our disc-shaped spiral galaxy were to one day collide with Andromeda, which is over twice the size of the Milky Way. Astronomers anticipate such a cosmic crash would ultimately create a giant egg-shaped galaxy. But what would happen to the stars and planets of the Milky Way? And what would be the destiny of Earth? Such a galactic collision doesn't sound pretty. After all, these objects pack at least hundreds of millions of stars, millions of black holes, and likely trillions of planets. If you were, hypothetically, standing on a rocky world like Earth, would catastrophe be imminent? Thankfully, no. Galaxies collide because they harbor unimaginable amounts of gravity and are attracted to each other. Diego Munoz, an astrophysicist at Northern Arizona University, said it's very likely that a galaxy will encounter a galaxy comparable or smaller over the course of its lifetime. Yet the solar system will, in all likelihood, be almost unaffected. A prominent reason why is because space is imminently vast. There are huge distances between the stars, and stars are comparatively tiny. In fact, According to Sally Dodson Robinson, a planetary scientist at the University of Delaware, if you were to shrink the sun to the size of a sand grain, the distance to the nearest star would be measured in miles. That makes close encounters with other stars extremely unlikely, even during a galaxy merger. What's more, stars and their solar systems can't match the gravitational power of the greater galaxy. Solar systems will orbit around the galaxy's core, just like our system completes an orbit around the Milky Way every 240 million years, and aren't pulled into one another as galaxies merge. However, the impact between the older galaxies may spawn some stellar activity as the galaxy's gases collide and condense. The resulting weighty clouds of gas can collapse, driving the formation of new stars. So I guess if this happens and you're lucky enough to be around to see it, expect to see some fireworks.